Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to look at OSPF cost and the reference bandwidth. Um, so OSPF is such an old protocol that at the time it was written, the fastest interface available was 100 megabit. So when OSPF determines equal cost multipath, it uses um, a, a reference bandwidth of 100 megabit. So According to OSPF, in its default form, um, an interface of 100 megabit, gigabit, 10 gigabit, 40 gigabit, 100 gigabit, it treats all the same. So if I had a 100 gigabit interface and a 1 gigabit interface and I learned the same route, it would treat those equally. Obviously, that's not what you want to do. So what we're going to do to solve that is we're going to go in and change the reference bandwidth for all the routers in our network. Um, and that will allow it to to um, use equal cost multipath appropriately, right? Um, so, I mean, obviously, you don't want to try to send an equal amount of bandwidth down a 1 gig link or down a 10 gig link, right? It will use that 10 gig link, and if the 10 gig link fails, then the 1 gig link will take over um, as the next best cost. But but we don't want it to try to load balance equally down those two or you're going to run into some problems. So if we look at my routing table here, uh, if I do a show IP route, we'll see that I'm learning, say, 1.1.1.1 slash 32 out two different interfaces, right? Um, so my next hub gateway, 10.0.0.1, 20.0.0.1. Um, one of them's through VE10, one of them's through a physical interface, but that doesn't really matter, and they both have the same cost, right? The, the problem here is that if we have a look at those interfaces, show interface brief uh, E111 and E121, which is VE10, we see that one of them is a 1 gig link and one of them is a 10 gig link, but it's both of those are in my IP routing table, and it's going to try to send an equal amount of traffic down both of those links. Um, and so if we have a look at the cost, if I do a show IP OSPF interface, right? So here's 1111. So this is my one gig link, right? So it has a cost of one. And here's my 10 gig link on VE10. And it also has a cost of one. So as I said, the way it calculates that is the speed of the interface divided by the reference bandwidth. So the reference bandwidth is 100. So, so a 1 gig link is 1,000 over 100. A uh, 10 gig link is 10,000 over 100. So both of those divide out to 1. Um, and so uh, it, as well as, you know, a 100 gig link would be 100,000 over 100. Um, and so what we want to do is change that denominator value to be at least as big as the fastest interface you have in your environment, probably faster, right? So if the fastest interface you have is 10 gig, you probably want to change your reference bandwidth to, uh, to 100 gig, right, to allow for some room for growth. Um, you don't have to. It's up to you. But you have to do this on every router in your environment, um, or at least every router in your OSPF domain. So... Therefore, you know, you don't want to have to go back and change that just because you upgraded an interface on one router, right? So the way we configure it is we're going to go into, um, we're going to go into uh, config T first and then router OSPF. Okay, so it puts us into the OSPF uh, subcommand. And then the command is auto-cost and then reference bandwidth. So, reference dash bandwidth, um, oops, width, that's better. Uh, then you could say use active ports, but, but I'm going to set it, and it's set in megabit, right? So if we wanted to set the reference bandwidth to a gig, we would set it to 1,000. Um, 10 gig would be 10,000. 100 gig would be 100,000. So let's set it to... Uh, to 100 gig because uh, my the fastest interface I have right now is a 10 gig interface so I want my reference bandwidth to be faster than my fastest interface again you don't have to but that would be a best practice okay so for this example I'm only going to set it on this router but you should go through and set it on each one of your routers but for for demonstration purposes here I'm just going to show it on the one so now therefore 
my when I when it calculates the cost, right? It should be a thousand over a hundred thousand, and it should be um, ten thousand over a hundred thousand. So therefore, um, if I do a show IP OSPF interface again, we now see the cost of my gig link is a hundred, right? Because it's a thousand over a hundred thousand, so it divides in a hundred times my cost of my 10 gig link is 10 because it is 10,000 over 100,000. So therefore it divides in 10 times and my cost is 10. So I should now not have two routes anymore. I should now have only one route and that is taking my 10 gig interface. So let's have a look at that, which we do. So now we no longer have two routes to 1.1.1.1. We only have one but it's taking the 10 gig interface and the one gig interface is just on standby. So um, it's going to take over. So for example, if I unplug that 10 gig interface, if I can reach it um, and then rerun that immediately, my one gig interface takes over, right? So you still have the redundancy. You're just not trying to send an equal amount of traffic down both of those links. Okay, so that's it. It's a, it's a best practice to change that on all your routers and uh, a good thing to do. So thanks for joining and we'll see you next time. Take care.